Hi everyone, I'd like to welcome you to today's webinar, Moving Your GP Environment to the Cloud. We appreciate you taking the time out of your schedule to join us today. There are a couple of housekeeping items we'd like to mention before we begin the presentation. All attendees are in listen-only mode. I'd like to introduce today's speakers. We have Rob Mitchell, who is our Principal GP Consultant, Jennifer Totten, who is our Product Strategist for Digital Transformation, and Bert Burry, who is on the cloud team um, and who works with Azure Sales and Cloud. So at this point, Jennifer, I believe we're ready to transition over to you. Great. Thank you, Lindsay. Welcome, everyone. We're happy to have you spending time with us today. We're going to kick off our conversation with talking a little bit about digital transformation. Five years ago, digital transformation was defined as the use of technology to radically improve performance. And a perfect example of this, when we think about some of the reasons that clients implement a business solution like Dynamics GP, the definition using technology to radically improve performance fits very well. Benefits such as process automation, automation, automated billing and reporting all help you optimize your operations. Uh, now today, it's no longer just about implementing technology that automates processes and drives productivity. The third platform, the cloud computing platform that combines cloud, social, mobile, and big data has opened up new possibilities. Organizations started leveraging these interconnected digital technologies to start modernizing business transactions. So think integrated e-commerce and mobile apps for field service and time entry as an example. Digital transformation today is defined as a much broader, more impactful approach to how we leverage digital technologies to fundamentally change the way we do business. It's about seeing opportunity differently and transforming entire business models to engage digitally native generations. So as an example, leveraging IoT sensors and devices to gather and analyze data so that you can better understand and engage your customer by transforming your products and services under completely new business models that better serve the way people want to interact with you and buy from you today and into the future. We've now moved beyond the basic adoption of the third platform technologies and into the realm of innovation accelerators such as AI and machine learning or cognitive systems that are driving a new level of connection and engagement between the physical and the digital. And at this point, if your business is to remain relevant in the future, having the foundation to support your transformation to a digital business in place is extremely important. And without cloud, none of this would be possible. So you can see that we've modified this graphic a bit to show how critical cloud is to a digital transformation strategy. It really is the foundation of all these innovation accelerators. So to touch quickly on the importance of becoming a digital business, by 2020, at least half of global 2,000 businesses will generate 50% of their revenues from digitally transformed offerings and operations. 42% of organizations are planning major digital transformation activities in 2018. And digital transformation is expected to boost bottom lines by 50% by 2021. So extremely too important to start your journey. And we know that digital transformation isn't easy. So if it seems daunting to you, you're not alone. Some of the key challenges organizations face are becoming a data-driven organization and understanding what to do with all that data. Um, optimizing operations so that you can speed time to market, better deliver against customer demands, and allow your employees more wiggle room to focus on innovation and growth strategies. Adapting customer engagement tactics to understand and meet today and tomorrow's buyer journey points. Focusing on and working towards future initiatives, offerings, and business models while still operating optimally in the present. And the human element, managing change and adoption and driving engagement throughout your transformation. Identifying opportunity requires a different lens, which requires time to learn and time to think and sometimes an objective viewpoint. And finally, uh, you know, one of the biggest challenges uh, we see organizations face is figuring out where to start and prioritizing the steps in their own transformation. There are a lot of ways that Socius can help clients. We can help you evaluate and establish where you're at in your own digital transformation and educate and help guide your strategic roadmap.
We have deep expertise in building the foundation necessary for digital transformation with Microsoft Azure, Dynamics, and Office 365 as a few examples. We can take the management of certain IT functions off your hands so you can focus on executing high-value projects such as innovating your products and services. We can help transform the experience by building mobile applications and workforce solutions that work the way your customers and your employees work and engage. And finally, our expertise in guiding successful projects through effective change management can help enable your internal improvement. So with this, I'm going to hand it over to Bert to talk with us about the benefits of cloud. Bert? All right. As a Microsoft cloud solution provider, Socius has and continues to make big investments in our Azure practice. We've chosen to lead with Azure for cloud services because it's more than just cloud. Azure is a growing suite of applications and integrated cloud services that offer powerful computing platforms, integrated networking, robust backup recovery services, and storage to meet your needs, all resulting in increased sales momentum, increased productivity, and savings opportunities. Microsoft Azure is global, secure, and scaling every day. Consider this. Microsoft has invested over the $15 billion in setting up infrastructure worldwide. This means that Microsoft Azure has twice the number of data center regions that Amazon Web Services has, and more than six times than that of Google Cloud Platform. Having more data centers provides you with more choice, more power, and more options for deployment. This means that you have more choice in where you deploy your applications for the lowest latency experience when connecting to your own data centers or customer locations. Consider Microsoft Azure not only as a tool, but as an opportunity to transform your business. Microsoft Azure connects applications, data, people, and devices in a safe, secure, and convenient manner. It helps organizations reach markets sooner and achieve increased revenue and savings opportunities. Span multiple devices. Microsoft's cloud services simplify the development of a unified backend, enabling you to connect your existing applications, data, and services to any device, PCs, tablets, and even phones. A common development experience allows IT and developers to use their skills to make the most of existing code. Browser-based interfaces can easily be created using leading-edge web technologies for any device. Access nearly any data anywhere. Microsoft's comprehensive data platform enables you to manage, store, process, and analyze relational and non-relational data across local, hybrid, and cloud premises on physical and virtual servers. Microsoft delivers applications that use the broadest array of data and enrich user experiences with exactly the right information. By developing and deploying the Microsoft platform, you can preserve data compatibility and integration with your existing applications and continue to leverage existing skills while making the most out of your data. You can also get leading edge performance with in-memory solutions across all workloads. It's one scalable solution for high volume and high availability. Reduce security risks and simplify access. Microsoft has a solid history of security with their trustworthy computing initiative and the security development lifecycle program for Microsoft product development. Simplified identity allows you to reduce your security risk and lower the burden of managing multiple credentials and identities across private and public clouds. Microsoft also helps you deliver high availability with minimal effort through automated application monitoring, load balancing, and failover. Microsoft's elastic infrastructure provides virtually infinite on-demand scalability as well as cloud-enabled availability, backup, and recovery services for on-premise deployments to help organizations take advantage of the benefits of the cloud. So where do you start in Azure? Azure provides a comprehensive development platform for apps of all kinds. 
Most points of entry in Microsoft Azure are through infrastructure as a service. Line of business, development testing of applications, backup recovery services, and availability of high performance computing. There are many cloud benefits such as quicker implementations which lead to improved time to value, less hassle and cost around infrastructure and hardware needs which enable you to quit the infrastructure cycle, the ability to free up your IT team to focus on more strategic initiatives internally, which is more innovation and less pain, and of course the easy budgeting and predictability in terms of lower, more predictable costs. All of these are strong benefits of migrating and hosting of your ERP in the cloud. When you partner with Socius for Cloud ERP, you gain the benefits of more than 30 years of experience with Dynamics GP. You get personalized support, managed services that further reduce IT pain, with easy monthly billing, all from a single source who knows your business and is invested in your success. As you consider moving your Dynamics GP to the cloud, there are many factors to consider. Internal IT challenges. Internal IT hardware needs and costs can be an impediment to upgrading to the newest version of Dynamics GP. Moving to the cloud reduces these challenges and costs and allows you to get the most out of your investment in GP. Budget. You'll want to make sure you have a realistic budget in place, factors quantifying all of your current costs, cloud offers predictability in monthly costs, and scalability to grow as your organization grows. Integrations. Assessing your current and future integration needs is an important consideration when moving to the cloud. Although we can easily achieve tight integration points with applications in Azure, you may want to consider a hybrid cloud deployment as other applications are migrated to the cloud. We can help you determine which cloud deployment and which method is the best for you. Additional workloads. Are there other workloads or applications such as CRM systems or development testing environments that make sense for you to move to the cloud along with your GP instance? we can help you assess which workloads make the best sense to migrate. Reporting needs. Consider which reporting tools you are using today. If you're using Management Reporter, for example, we'll want to discuss considerations and ramifications for your users in that deployment. User access. There's a wide variety of access methods which are available. RDP, VPN, Web Client, you choose which is the best connection that best serves your needs. We've assembled several different questions, what we believe to be the top questions that we see on a routine basis when interested parties are looking to migrate to the cloud. Is the user experience the same as on-premise? Yes, many users report improved performance overall. How do my users access GP in the cloud? The choice is yours. You can connect through RDP, VPN, or even web client. How will the speed of processing be affected? In most cases, performance is better with virtually no latency. How secure is my data? Very secure. Microsoft Azure provides several layers of virtual and physical security measures. Please visit the Azure Trust Center. We've provided the URL as a link below for your convenience. Who owns my data? You do. Neither Microsoft nor Socius own your data. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Rob Mitchell to talk about some specific steps in moving Dynamics GP to a Microsoft Azure Cloud. Thanks, Bert, and hello, everybody. Now that Jennifer has described digital transformation, what it is, and where it is going, and Bert has described how digital transformation fits into Azure, the capabilities of Azure, and the benefits of hosting Dynamics GP in Azure, now it's time to review the steps required to move Dynamics GP to the cloud. If you have ever done an upgrade to Dynamics GP and moved the database and clients to new servers, these steps will be somewhat familiar. 
Think of it as just moving your data to a new server, except this server is in the cloud. The first step to formulate is to formulate a project timeline that will have the least impact on production activities and minimize downtime. We want to make sure the migration won't affect period or year in close or heavy usage periods. We want to understand your processes and what modules you use in Dynamics GP. We also need to know what ISV products, integration points, and customizations you may have in GP. This includes number of users and number of transactions processed daily, how many integrations and how often they are run, and the type of customizations you may have. Are they VBA, Dexterity, .NET, or some other programming language? Do you have any other workloads or applications that aren't part of the Dynamics GP, but you would like to move to the cloud? We will need to understand what they are, what the system requirements do they have, how do they connect, do they integrate with Dynamics GP or other applications, are there any operating system or software prerequisites. Once we understand your business processes, how you use Dynamics GP, and any other applications that will be moved to Azure, we will do a final process review. This will help us determine if there are any gaps in the process or any other roadblocks that could arise. This information will help us determine the environment and the required resources to provision in Azure. Socius will now provision the environment in Azure. This will include all servers and applications. It may include Active Directory servers, web servers, remote desktop servers, VPN connections, or any other technology required to meet the needs discovered in the process and application review. Depending on your connection requirements, we will create user accounts and set permissions for access into the environment. We will create network security groups to prevent access from users outside your organization. The next step in the process is to get your data from your on-prem servers to the servers in Azure. We will perform a test backup of your data straight to the Azure storage. From here, we will restore the data to the servers in Azure and ready them for testing. Now that the applications and data are ready for testing, we will train your users on how to access Dynamics GP via web client or RDP. We will begin user acceptance testing and validate all systems work as expected. Once, once user acceptance testing is complete and all functions have been validated, we will again back up your on-prem database to Azure, restore them and the new servers in Azure, and go live. Here is some information we need from you for successful GP migration to the cloud. We touched on some of these in the previous slide, but it's important we have this, for, have this information. We need to know what version of GP you are currently using. Older versions of GP aren't supported in Azure because of operating system and SQL Server requirements. For example, FRX is only supported on 32-bit servers, and these are not available in Azure. If you are in a GP version prior to GP 2013 R2, an upgrade is required, or if you have a version older than the current release, this would be a good time to upgrade. We need to know the number of users, transaction volume, and database size. This will help determine the type and size of machines that will be provisioned in Azure. Are you using any ISV products or proprietary applications? This will help us determine how they connect to Dynamics GP. Some ISV products and proprietary applications aren't supported on the web client, so RDP is the only solution. Do you have any integrations or customizations? How is data integrated into GP? What integration applications do you use? Do you use Integration Manager, Smart Connect, Scribe, or any other integration tools? Are your integrations run manually or are they scheduled? What and where is the source for your integrations? Do you have any customizations? Who wrote them and who owns them? Web Client, Web Services, Workflow, Management Reporter, SSRS, and other reporting tools require Windows authentication. An Active Directory solution must be available for these technologies to, for these technologies to work. In these cases, we will need to create a domain controller in Azure, create a site-to-site -site VPN to your network, or possibly use Azure Active Directory. Are there additional workloads other than GP that will be migrated to the cloud? What are the system requirements for these applications? Do they have database or file system requirements? How big are the databases or folder shares? Do these applications integrate with GP or other applications? How do they connect? Where does the data go? These are all questions that need to be answered for, for a successful migration to the cloud. Now that you know how to get your GP environment to the cloud, let's talk about one of our clients that successfully migrated to the cloud, Cumulus Media. Cumulus is a large media and radio broadcasting company. 
It is an exclusive radio broadcast partner to some of the largest brands in sports and entertainment, including the NFL, the NCAA, the Masters, the Olympics, the Grammys, the Country Music Awards, and Billiard, Billiard, Billboard Music Awards in Miss America. Cumulus is the nation's leading provider of country music and lifestyle content through, the, through its Nash brand, which serves country fans nationwide through radio programming, Nash Country Weekly Magazine, concerts, licensed products, and television. What were the drivers and processes that led Cumulus' decision to move to the cloud? They wanted anywhere, anytime access, not dependent on a VPN connection or a support ticket to their internal IT when resources weren't available. They wanted business managers, marketing managers, and senior management to be able to collaborate in, on critical, critical business decisions. Access to data for users in different locations anytime would make this possible. Moving workloads from their data center to Azure would eliminate procurement of new hardware and additional IT resources. It would also make these workloads scalable and reliable. As the users and data scaled, the resources in Azure could also scale. Moving to Azure and decentralizing operations would prevent a single point of failure. When we moved Cumulus to Azure, we also upgraded them from Dynamics GP 2010 to GP 2015. There, was, there wasn't a direct upgrade path from the version of GP 2010 they were on to Dynamics GP 2015 R2. We were able to create an interim SQL 2012 server to do the upgrade from GP 2010 to GP 2013 and then do the upgrade from 2013 to GP 2015 R2 on the new production SQL 2014 server in Azure. Once the upgrade was complete, we just deleted the interim SQL 2012 server. Cumulus is licensed for 71 full GP users. Most of these users are now web client users, but five of these users access GP via RDP. Cumulus uses Mac McCorma Micker to print payables checks, and this ISP product is not supported on the web client. This required RDP access to the GP client for these five users. Before moving to the cloud, Cumulus uploaded 95% of their GL entries using Integration Manager. Integration Manager is also not supported on the web client. The solution was to install Smart Connect and schedule the integration of GL transactions. Users now just drop their GL transaction source file onto a file share, and the Smart Connect integrates them to GP. Cumulus uses Paramount Workplace for purchase requisition, purchase receiving, and invoice matching. We created a web server, installed Paramount Workplace, and created the connections to GP. Workplace is a web application that is now accessible from anywhere at any time. Paramount Workplace uses a file share to store scanned documents. Initially, this file share was created on an existing drive that was going to run out of space. We were able to add additional space to this drive as needed. Adaptive Insights and Workday are not installed in Azure, but are web applications. Adaptive Insights is a financial reporting and budgeting application that uses publishers installed on a server in Azure and get data from GP. Payroll clerks upload journal entries extracted from Workday using Smart Connect. Now that Cumulus has moved GP to Azure, they have seen increased, product, have seen increased productivity and process efficiencies and reduced annual expense relating to their financial systems. They have decentralized reporting by granting users access to adaptive insights so they can create and run reports on demand. This also increased visibility into the financial operations to business leaders and senior management. In closing, digital transformation is more than a buzzword. A cloud strategy is key to becoming a digital business. Many factors to consider when moving Dynamics to GP to the cloud, the right partner and the right preparation is key to success. All right, well, if there are any questions, you can put them in the question box. Um, we'll stay on for a few minutes. Um, but other than that, thank you everyone for joining us today. And a couple of reminders, our next webinar is July 6th. Um, it's Management Reporter Series Part 2 on Profit and Loss Statements from 1 to 2. Um, and then on July 18th, we have Power BI and GP um, from 1 to 2 as well. And then you can look for our complete webinar series um, on our website, www.socius1.com. So thanks, everyone, for joining us today, and we will see you at our next webinar.